but let's get everyone else in who's going to join us live. So welcome to this Thursday's Think Tank. That's really hard to say for an Irish person. There's too many. <laughs> so I just do it the Irish way, right? So welcome to Thursday's Think Tank. There you go. Um, <laughs> so uh, we, we were joined with, by wonderful guests from all over the place. So we, we have Guy Mayer all the way from England and the UK. We have Christine all the way from uh, South Carolina. Yes. And then we have April from Iowa. Yes, yes, got it all right. Good. Hello. So you guys are really, really brave to go live with me on, on this webinar when we're doing website reviews, because we'll be able to see your face's reaction as we talk through your websites. How do you guys feel about that? I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Good, glutton's for punishment. So let's introduce everybody. So April, why don't you tell everybody where you're based out of and the type of photography you do and then, um, you know, what you're hoping to get out of this session. <laughs> I'm April. I'm 51. I do a lot of things because I think photography progresses with us over life. Um, we start out maybe with moms as can with cameras that want to capture our kids, and then we move into weddings and headshots and fun stuff because photography goes with us as we grow. And so uh, I'm a sandwich woman uh i'm trapped kind of somewhere between my kids and my 76 year old dad and photography allows me to be able to uh have the flexibility to be there for any one of those people and still serve my clients full time and april you you have a love of marketing right i do i i think i'm uh most people see themselves as photographers with with a marketing interest. I see myself as a marketer with a photography interest because you don't ha if you don't have a product to sell, you're not much of a marketer. <laughs> and that was just the easiest way to do it. Excellent, excellent. Christine, over to you. So same questions to you. What were they? <laughs> um, Everybody where you're from, your business. Uh, gotcha. And, and what uh, that out of today. Okay. Um, I'm Christine. I am from Charleston, South Carolina, and I specialize in portraits. So mostly children, families, high school seniors, um, and then headshots, which is kind of a completely different line, but even still people. Um, and I redid my website last summer. It was long overdue. And um, I am not a marketer. Marketing is not um, an aspect of the business that I ever learned about. And so I'm really starting to learn more about it now and realizing how much more I have to learn. And um, I, I need help with my website. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty. I just don't think it's bringing in all the clients that I want. Okay, so so that's an interesting thing. And, and as a member of BSA, you know the function of the website and the traffic that's coming there is 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 when people are looking for a photographer, right? Right. Um, and then with your marketing funnels that you're developing, you're catching people when they're blissfully unaware. But it's equally important that our website connects with that traffic and mm -hmm. converts them. And quite often. As a story brand guide, what we see is that with photography, that the websites can look really well because we're visual creatures, right? So mm -hmm. it can look really well, but the messaging is not there that connects. So right. hopefully we'll have a look at that today and see how we can tweak that and, 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 and make it better that you get more conversions from your website from those people who are actively looking for a photographer. Guy, same questions to you. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Um, and uh, just to give you a quick recap, uh, for those that haven't heard of me, I'm based uh, in a little village called Pitstone, um, which is um, around the kind of Aylesbury area in England, um, north um, northwest of London, uh, sorry, north east, no, northwest of London, if you, yeah. Um, and um, I'm in an interesting position where all my business was based on event marketing, pe meeting people face to face. And we're doing rather well at that um, in a position where we went from a high street location with four floors and 12 staff to working to a home studio where it's myself and my wife. And um, basically when lockdown came, 
and we've always played a little bit with the web. It was, it was never a major issue for us because we were filling our boots with our normal marketing and we're working at capacity. Um, and then suddenly um, my market, my, my way of marketing vanished and now I'm 100% on, online. And um, I learned so much from BSA and you guys. Uh, without it, I would have been dead in the water. But now we've got leads coming in, we've got people coming in, our averages are good. Um, and while I'm a, I'm a salesperson by nature, um, I'm very good at selling things. I'm an engineer in training. Um, I've been a photographer for 30 years, but marketing is something that doesn't come naturally to me. Uh, and I got all the help and it's slowly happening. So my website I know is not perfect. It's far from it. Uh, but what I'm looking for is a way forwards as opposed to uh, I, I see some beautiful websites, but I want it to convert, to convert. That's my underline headline. I want it to convert. Great. And we specialize in basically families and babies. Right. So let's dig into the websites and let's get started. So I think I have your one up first, Christine. Um, I did. Uh, oh, hold on. Just give me two seconds. Yeah, I need to share that. Come on, share, <coughs> Zoom. Okay, and I need to go over, uh, let me just drag that out of the way. Um, do, do, do. How come everything's always in the way? It's working great earlier. Here we go. Can you guys see this now? Yes. <clears throat> Lovely. Okay, so um, those who are joining us on this webinar live, if you have any questions, just put it in the chat as we go through, right? So... Christine, you've already told us that your, your main target is portraiture, right? Mm -hmm. So from a story brand perspective, the first thing we look at is prime real estate. So Guy was talking a little earlier, like he had a high street studio on stage and a lot of high street studios went there to get footfall, you know, for people passing by that, that they could turn into clients. And our website is very similar to that in that there's prime real estate on our website so that prime real estate is based on what people how they view things and how they view things is the, their eye pattern is a z or a z depending which part of the world you're in so they literally go across the top of the website they come down at an angle and then they come back across so that's the first principle. And then the second principle is that there's above the fold. So just like the newspaper, when you go into a newspaper, like the editors work really, really hard to have a headline above the fold of the newspaper where that you see when, when they're all sitting there in front of you to make that connection so that you pick up that newspaper and you buy it, right? So in the same way, we need to use our prime real estate on our website to achieve the same thing. So if I scan your website from left to right, um, and I come across here, the prime real estate across the top, the changes I would make is that your direct call to action and your indirect call to action should be top right up here. Okay. So what's a direct call to action and an indirect call to action? So a direct call to action in your case here is let's chat. And I love the way you have done that, that it's in a friendly way, because quite often when I go to photographers' websites, I see... Um, contact us you know it's real corporate isn't it it's like i did like, make that change based on other website reviews i've okay. seen it too okay. well, i love that so what <laughs> i'd like you to do with that now is just make it a different color so it stands out okay so that that so that my eye is drawn to it so as i scan across my eye is drawn to that i love the way you've managed within your logo to put in because we're local businesses as, as photographers right so I love the way you found a way to get that in underneath the logo. So when I come here, if I'm from New York and I, I you know, I'm probably not going to travel all the way to South Carolina from New York for, for a photo session. So I love the way you, you're, you're using that there just to tell people when they arrive here, look, unless you're within the travel distance of me, this is where I am. You know, don't waste your time. See you later. So I love the way you're doing that qualification there. And it's really clever, I think, the way you've, you've done it in with the logo. And um, story brand would teach that, see all this stuff here, that that's, that's the, should go in the junk drawer. So it's a bit like, if this is the window of your shop on a high street, we want to keep it really, really clean and focused on just one or two things. Yeah. Okay. So we would suggest that your investment, the blog, and all these links would disappear from here 
and I'd be just left with your logo and the direct call to action and the indirect call to action. So what would the indirect call to action be? So the indirect call to action might be, because um, you're going to have people who search for photographer in South Carolina, in Charlestown, mm -hmm. and hopefully Google is going to present you to them, right? So the people are going to click on those links and come to your website. So what we want to try and do here is we want that the people who are, aren't ready to have a chat just now and take that step, that you still have a way to gather their leads. So the same as you work on your marketing funnels, yeah, mm -hmm. we want something. So your indirect call to action, you're already probably creating lead magnets and other stuff like that. So take, take one of those lead magnets and put it on here. Got as it. your indirect call to action. So you're, so you will then gather more leads from the visitors to your website who aren't ready to make that commitment to have a chat yet. Got it. Okay. So then on your real estate up here, then those two call to actions are going to stand out. Then what I want to see here is, and you've done really well with your text here, you know, that connects and I love the way you've written it, but we need to get that in here reversed out of these pictures as they go across. Okay. So, so, and the process to do that is exactly what we've done in the funnels as well is, you know, what's your client's problem? How do you solve it? And what's their transformation? So once you build out the answers to that for your client, well, then you'll be able to get two lines of text that connect with your client. So what do you believe, Christine, not to put you on the spot because we haven't rehearsed any of this, but for your clients who are visiting this page, what do you believe their problem is? Um, well, I, I finally honed in on my target, my client avatar being the moms of the senior. Because for a long time, I was trying to speak to both at the same time and realized that that wasn't working. So moms um, whose kids are going to be leaving them soon and they will be gone and they don't have any pictures of them to, to look at what, when their kids are in college and cry when they look at the album. So that's the problem. Okay. And, and you have a solution and you know what the transformation is to that. So, so it might be, and this won't be the exact words, right? Cause we're, we're doing this on the fly. We haven't rehearsed any of this. So, um, so it might be, um, maybe one year left. So they fly the nest. It's important to capture those special memories of your high school senior before they go off to college so that you can enjoy these special memories forevermore. Got it. Yeah. Um, and I haven't put the word imagine in there. So when you're dealing with transformation, mm -hmm. if you can get the word imagine in there. It's really yeah. powerful because it opens up our brains and our minds that we start to visualize that. So they'll start to visualize them looking at those beautiful portraits on the wall or the albums or the folio boxes or whatever way you present the images to them that you those memories that you sell to them okay so so when we get that line two lines here then yeah reverse out of these wonderful images then what you also want to have is your direct call to action button and your indirect call to action right underneath them again yes again. okay so so i should see it at the top right hand corner and then okay. i should see it then underneath my headline yeah okay and see those two buttons too that that you encourage that that action so i love the way you've you've brought your your uh, testimonials in here and you've brought the testimonials fr from different people and um, video testimonial is really really good so if it's possible like i love the way this is here but if it's possible to get a video testimonial from one of your clients mm -hmm. you know people love video they love connecting with video and that would even be more powerful. Okay. Um, I, I love the way you're getting your why across here. Yeah, I read this text earlier. We don't have time to read it all tonight, but your start, your why is coming out here as to why you're a photographer and why photography is important. So I love that. And the other piece that I think when I had a quick look earlier that 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 may be missing is or is missing is the plan. You know mm -hmm. the way on your funnels you have yeah. your plan. So yep. you have, you know, what the store, what the steps the client has to take, because quite often you see more, we know our businesses, right, inside out and backwards, and we automatically in our brains make the assumption that our clients do as well. Right. 
So, but they don't. And you'll have visitors to the website who say, yeah, but what do I do next? Or, you know, what's the process? So before I click on that let's chat button, I really want to know, well, what, what's going to happen here? Um, and in your case, it may be, we're going to have a chat. We do a pre-shoot consultation. And then we're going to do the session and the experience. And then we're going to have a viewing where you can buy. Yeah, what, what you like. So whatever those steps are, no more than four. Um, if you can get it, if you can, I like to get the process down to three steps and the fourth one, if you put the fourth one in there, deals with the transformation. So it doesn't actually have to be a step they take with you, but it might be in your case, imagine uh, step four, imagine every day enjoying the portraits of your high school senior when they're away in college yeah, or whatever that might be, yeah? So yes. that way, then the fourth step is them actually enjoying and experiencing and getting the benefits of what they have purchased from you in that high school senior experience. Got it. Okay. So Kelly's asking to get closer to the mic. Hopefully that's helping, Kelly. So, so does that help? Yes. Excellent. Uh and that's all, all of that is on the to-do list. The video testimonials, that's definitely something that I um, am working on. Um, testimonials, incorporating them is new for me in general. So working to get those and then yes, adding the steps because like you said, I think we just assume our clients know uh, how, what, what the process is and they, they don't. And they don't read sometimes and they ask a lot of questions. So having it there is so helpful. And as a photographer, you remember we talked about visually that we, you know, we put lovely photographs up and they're lovely photographs um, and, and beautiful art. But what yes. we miss then is the text that connects. It's the, it's the text that you write here that will actually connect with the client. So when the client lands here, you, you have two or three seconds, that's all to connect with them. But to say, yeah, I'm in the right place. What do I do now? Um, and what I also love is that you, this is another important thing. You need all the information on the page, guys, because most of your, most of your search now is coming on that. It's on the mobile. So people, what do they do on mobile? They don't click on things, yeah? They, all they do is they scroll. So you need to have all the information on your website. So what you need is you need the messaging that's going to connect with the client. You need to have, you need to build, you know, um, a rapport so they know, like, and trust you. You've got to have testimonials that give social proof that you are what, what you say you are. You've got to have the plan then that you give to the client. And all the way as I scroll down here, Christine, your direct and indirect call to actions need to follow me down the page. Yeah? Yep. So when they're here, as I scroll, there's another page for me. You need to have it here between these two, two testimonials. And then you need to have them here. So those call to actions should never be out of sight. <clears throat> because at different stages either a testimonial or something you put there is going to connect with the client at that stage and you don't want them to have to scroll again to take those actions yeah right okay excellent thank you so um did you did you what, what do you think april and guy have you anything to add to christine's website any advice or thoughts or um April, you go first. I love your artwork. It's Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. I wish I were in South Carolina again. <laughs> Come visit. I should. <laughs> I agree about having the line of text over the pictures because they might want to book right. They might see that photo and want to book right now. Yeah, that was def that was something I hadn't considered. So. Um... And on, on yours, Ronan, it looks like they're scrolling a lot faster than on mine. So I'll have to go through the slideshow and make sure that it's slow enough that people can actually read it. Also, um, the text was a bit on the small side on Ronan's screen. It was mm -hmm. tiny. Now, yeah, I saw that as well. Um, so um, uh, if you're looking at on the phone, it might be different. But mm -hmm. you've got to check it on your phone. You've got to check it on a uh, computer because mm -hmm. uh, without my glasses, there's no way I could have read that. Great. Yeah, but I mean, again, the artwork is awesome. Um, the work you do is gorgeous. Thank you, I appreciate that. And one other thing that I was, that I know I need to add is 
if I want to sell wall art and albums and folio boxes, the, they need to be on the page, not just the pictures, but the product that I want them to buy. So that's also something on the to-do list. Is well, I'm sure, great? I'm sure we didn't explore every single page of your website, but I'm sure somewhere else in the, some of that information is present. But you'd have to look really hard and people don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's a great point, Christine, is, you know, you've got to anchor what you want to sell. So we see this quite often, even in advertising that photographers do or post to do on social media is they, they post just the image, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than the image in a frame on the wall of their client's home, mm -hmm. you know? So you've got to anchor with all of your marketing, what you want them to end up purchasing from you. So that's a really, really great point and a really important thing to do. It's probably a mistake I'm guilty of too. We'll find that out if we look at mine next or when we look at mine. We're going to go to you now, April. So let me just call it up here now. And we'll, um... Oh, by the way, Ronan, I wanted yeah. to tell you, my dad's name is Don Miller. Very good. <laughs> I have the book and I always say, Don Miller, not my dad. <laughs> Very good, very good. So, um, so April, um, you mentioned that you, you love marketing and you, you, you've, you've obviously done the story brand and you've read the book and you've taken a lot of good stuff from it because you can see here, this is what I was talking about, Christine, about having the messaging in the center. You see that? So, and it's, it's connecting, yeah? So I, if I'm a man and I visit this website, unless I'm going to buy a voucher for my wife or my partner or some other woman, my mom or whoever, I'm out of here, right? <laughs> um, so, because uh, I know you're not doing headshots for men with this web, web page, this website. So I really love that. Um, and I love that you've put your call to action here. Come join us. I haven't clicked on this. So what, what, what we'd like to do, April, is see this Let's Chat button. Yeah, I wanted to get it over in the center and I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Okay, so the let's chat button we need to get over here in the center. Mm -hmm. And then what I'd like you to do is find a way to incorporate your logo that goes, goes top left here or center like Christine's. Okay. And then your let's chat button over here. And then if you've got an indirect call to action, so you're very focused here, you know exactly who you want. So if you have a lead magnet or a guide or something, that talks to women who are over 50 and why this is important and why they need to do it and why they don't, shouldn't pull it off. I, I would have that as my indirect call to action. So, so anybody who comes to the website, the same as Christine's website, who aren't ready to have a chat yet, that you still gather that lead. Yeah. Cause, mm -hmm. cause those, those email addresses guys that we own, they're our own data. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we, we often spend money with Google and Google AdWords and on Facebook for Facebook marketing and um, that, you know, that it's money spent when we when we do that, we want to make sure that we capture that lead that we own, that we can use to remarket to, that we can nurture over time. Because as as we as we know, people will come to this website who aren't ready to buy now, but in a year's time or two years time, they will be. And you need that email address to nurture them on that journey. Mm -hmm. so so that's the idea of the indirect call to action to build that bank of client emails that you can use to nurture them and you can nurture them with your email marketing but you can also use it to target them on facebook as as an audience as you guys know from being in bsa yeah mm -hmm. so i love that and um, so i'm on a mission so i can see here that you're explaining your why and why it's important so i love that i love the way you've made it into a club because we all like to be members of communities right right so i love that you know through the 50 over 50 club we can you know so it's really empowering isn't it it's empowering language it's going to make it that was an accident that was the club part was an accident i was looking for domain names like 50 over 50 and they were all taken so i just tacked done club and it worked there you go but it's 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 really it may be an accident but isn't it isn't it doesn't it say something different like if i yeah. see 50 over 50 i go okay and then i see 50 over 50 club it feels to me that extra word you know it's it, i'm going to be a member of a community that's what it says to me what do you guys think 
Uh, sounds very friendly. Um, we all want to belong somewhere as human beings, don't we? So we, we join the family kind of thing, you know? Yeah, I agree. I think it's yeah. a very clever way yeah. to be inclusive. Um, if you are, uh, just a, a quickie for you, April, um, your website, website is showing not secure. Um, you need to get an SSL certificate sorted for it. Mm -hmm. Talk to your hosting provider. Yeah, that's that's a really good point, and and, and um, that will affect your Google ranking and everything else, April. So I would get that SSL certificate. It's, it'll be easy enough to do on your on your on your the people where you register your domain. And um, so that's a great point. Thank you for that, Guy. So here's what I, another point that I really really love. So different people want to connect with you in different ways. So you can see here that. April has, has inserted the uh, messenger link here so she can communicate with them. So that's a really good point, thing to involve in your website. And you can do it in a couple of clicks. In fact, we'll share a link with you afterwards where you can do this in three minutes. It's not mm -hmm. hard to do to it's insert easy. in your website, but it gives people then just another option to connect with you. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it easy for your client to bring them into your world and start to have a conversation whether that's in messenger or whether it's by text or whether it's on the phone and there's an interesting depending where your client is so april here is is targeting the over 50s so the over 50s will be much more open to a conversation than if you're targeting say high school seniors and you want to interact with high school seniors they will much prefer to interact with you by messenger or by text that actually talk to you. So there was research done there a while ago where they did extensive research across the different marketing generations. And they, they, they found that the older the person is, the happier they are to talk to a potential business on the phone. And the younger they get, as we get down to Gen Z or Gen Z, they wanna do it by messenger and by text. So, so think about who your target audience is too. Okay. So uh, beautiful imagery. And um, I think when I looked a little bit earlier, there is a was video. So I love the way you've got the video. See this satisfaction guarantee, guys. You know, this is a really important thing. A lot of people are afraid of giving satisfaction guarantees. You don't need to be afraid. You know, like you see it all the time from people that you buy albums from, right? Where they give a lifetime guarantee. Why do they do that? They do that because nobody ever comes back. Yeah. So don't be worried about giving a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Um, and I love the way you're making it really easy. So I can literally go here and you're using Acuity where I can actually schedule that chat. So it's really easy for me, yeah? So if I'm there and I wanna, I wanna have a chat, I can click here and bring it to Acuity. I'll have a look at, at, at April's availability in Daria and I can book my time slot. So again, making it really, really easy for the client to connect with you. She also, and that, sorry, April, go ahead. I was, I was going to say that also goes back to that over 50 deal. Um, they, they, they're busy ladies. They want to chat, but they want to have a set time. I don't want to be worried about somebody's going to call me 10 seconds from now while I'm trying to do something so they can schedule that time. So I just seen here, April, see, as I scroll that this bar comes up, this gold bar. Uh-huh. Um, it's not there when I'm here. I don't know whether that's purpose, uh, on purpose or not. Yeah, it's it's are, supposed to do that. Okay, so these are other call to actions, yeah? So they can phone mm -hmm. you. If I click on this, can it, will, will it phone you? Yes. Yes. If you okay. click on it from your phone, from it, your if phone. you're online, it'll probably ask you for a dialer app. Yes. And then if um, if I click on this, will it, will it open up to send you an email? It should. Okay. I haven't Excellent. tested it recently, but it's supposed to. Excellent. Well, I haven't tested either. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pointing out that there you're making it really easy for the client to connect. You know, especially if they want to have a chat now, and I'm on my mobile and I'm browsing my mobile and I click that and it starts to dial. Like it's that's what I love about this website. It's really, really easy for me to take action. So I love the way you've done that. Again, like with Christine, we need the main call to actions. If they could be buttons here. Like you have the let's chat button over here, but make sure that that option is open to me as I scroll. So again, here, you know, repeat it in here. 
And then the other piece that's missing is the uh, plan. So what's what's the process, April? Oh, so uh, it would be the same as as our regular one, two, three call, chat, shoot. Excellent. So if we can get that onto the web web page as well, that would be brilliant. Okay. Excellent. So um, so great job. Thank you. Great job. Has has um anybody uh, anything else to add, Christine? Have you anything to that you noticed there with with, with April's website or? It, it can be something that needs to be fixed or it can be something that you really loved. I did like the messenger feature. Um, I was just wondering um, how quickly I, I've been getting away from trying to use Facebook Messenger to do business just because I'm not, I'm trying to be off of Facebook. But um, what is, you know, how quickly do people expect you to respond? Is it immediate? How, do, how is that working for you? Because I like that it's easy and I like that, you have all of those options very easily, just a click and people can get to you. But with the Facebook Messenger, what's the expectation or how is that How is that working for you? For $10 a month, you can't beat many chat. You just can't beat it. I book online constantly using many chat for 10 bucks. And uh, I have entire scripts written out where you can click on a link it pops up in Messenger. It asks you two or three questions, and then it saves the answers to a document, a Google Doc. And I get on the phone and call them up, say, hey, I saw you just, I, I run model calls like that all the time. And I just put a picture on Facebook advertising, you know, a Facebook ad, and click this link. It pops open, and my phone goes, da ding, da ding, da ding, da ding. And my dad looks at me, and he just, smiles and but it can be really annoying because it doesn't stop it doesn't stop I did a model call and I had 165 entrants using just that chat bot wow so, so guys so many chat is, is is a piece of software that integrates with messenger and it basically controls it so a many chat list or a messenger list is really really good because let me ask you this you know how many emails do you of your emails do you always read versus how many messages you get on messenger or even texts mm -hmm. you always read them right mm -hmm. so they're really really powerful but you do have to be careful with messenger so facebook does not like really hard promotions in messenger and they'll shut you down if you do but it's a great way to to um share stories of clients who've been in you know with a video and, um, you know, so it's a great way to build the awareness and the brand awareness because people will connect with us, will click on it and will watch it. But the best part is they'll think you're there and you're not. Yes. I'm serious. Yes. You, you sit down and you write a conversation that you would normally have with your client. Hi, Sarah. And Facebook knows their name and it fills out the field for you. It says, hi, Sarah, or hi, Christine. Would you like to learn more about whatever it is I'm doing today? And then it gives you an option to click a button, yes or no. If, it says, if you say no, uh, it says, thank you, bye. <laughs> and, or it'll reroute you if you wanna talk about this another day. Or it will say, fantastic. Christine, this is what I'm doing. Uh, can I have your email, just confirm your email address because Facebook already knows your email address and your phone number and everything else. And so it just stores it all in a Google doc and it says, uh, thank you. Um, I'll, I'll be getting back to you within the next two or three days. And it's all saved in that Google doc. You get up in the morning and I have a word document that does mail merge and it prints out all of their information on a piece of paper. And I just call them. That's cool. I've never heard of that. The, the nice thing is that you've got to be careful with the emails on Facebook because some people have their emails that when they joined Facebook 10 years ago and it's not the current it's, email. So you've got to confirm true. that. But you can answer the basic questions like, you know, where are you? How much do you charge? Or all the usual questions that everyone else asks. Yeah. Uh, you can address some of those, not fully, but you can say, well, uh, I can only talk a little bit now, but, you know, uh, in that, 
Um, so yeah, it's 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 useful. Um, my my thoughts are that when you your first question, Christine, is how what is their expectations? In Messenger, it tells you the average answering time. Mm -hmm. So um, when you put a question into Messenger, it says they usually answer within a few minutes or a few hours or a few days. So it takes an average of how quick you, you answer. Gotcha. So it sets people's expectations up front. Yes, mine says usually answers within a few hours. Because why? Because if they do it in the middle of the night, I'll answer them in the morning. Right. Right. That's so smart. I'm excited. <laughs> Christine, have you ever done a prom model call? No. Where you wanted girls to show up in prom dresses? No, but that's something that I would love to chat with you more about. I was going to say, because I have a script for it and they'll awesome. show up in the park and um, I can hook you up with that and show you That'd what it looks great. like. That'd be Yay. great. Thank you. That's a great idea. So, so easy to get in touch with you, April, on your website. That was my two cents. <laughs> Excellent. So let's go over and we'll have a look at guys. Okay. So this is, is, is Guy's homepage. And Guy, you have got um, multiple different types of photography offerings, right? Yes. So now, I don't have, I, I try to, I do a lot of things and I try to direct people into the relevant page. So um, at my website, as usual, you, it's never 100% complete. You're always working on something. So at the moment, uh, the families and the free offer uh, and the fairies kind of work. The rest are in, in a holding pattern. Okay. So what, what, what in StoryBrand, what they would teach us, um, Guy, is this stuff yep. belongs in the junk drawers. drawers. Yes. So what's that? That's down the bottom of the website, yeah? So down okay. here. Okay. That stuff would move in there. So you want your, your direct call to action here, which I really like. It's in a different color. So yep. it automatically draws our eyes, doesn't it, guys? You know, when we're doing that Z or Z pattern, we stop here, yeah? And this is what Guy wants us to do. Is that right, Guy? You want us to click on this button? Yes, because you know what? Everyone's a sucker for a free offer, and it bypasses a lot of things, and you got them. Excellent. So, um, and, and with your text here, you're connecting your family is what this is all about. So again, it's, 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 it's making that it's about the client. Yeah. It's not about the photographer. So the client is the hero here. So I love the way you've done that. And um, what I'd like to do here is revisit some of the second two lines, just to say, you know, so it's clear who this is about. And we talked a little bit earlier and you were saying that family portrait is what you're trying to push, but because you do other things that this, this homepage is dealing with them all, but you're very quickly trying to take them away to what's of interest to them. So I like the way you've done that. And um, I love the way here that you've got the direct call to action and direct call to action. So again, we want to we want to maybe get this let's talk button up here top right too as an indirect call to action. It's next to it. It's let's chat next to the free offer. Okay, so we want to make it a different color. For, well, these are going to the drop to the junk drawer, but if we don't send them there, yeah, just make the let's chat a different color than the red one. But again, it's a, it, it, it's, it's a different I can color. make that one blue and the free offer is red. Excellent. So we can do that. I love the way you start to incorporate video because guys, people love video. You know, think about your clients. So much time now is spent on YouTube, you know, especially when you get to millennials and Gen Z, you know, they don't watch TV anymore, but they love YouTube. So I love the way you put video in here because video people love watching videos. I guarantee you, if you measure the number of people who press this watch button, it's very, very high for the people who are on it. But so therefore, when I'm watching this video, I want to have the button straight underneath as well. So when people finish watching the video, you're saying, right, take action now. Because a lot of people after watching the video will be ready to take some action. So just let's repeat the, the, free, the free offer or the let's chat buttons underneath that. So this is design, guys. Is this designed so that people, you know, depending on what they're interested on in the traffic you get to this page, that you bring them off straight away to what's of interest? Correct. Okay. 
So, um, so, and then that's a really important point, guys, because what we, we, we see quite often, if you're doing multiple offers, so unlike Christine, who is very clear, she's targeting one client, she's targeting the mums of the high school senior, and with, with April, where she was, she's targeting the over 50s for the over 50 club, and um, Guy is doing different things. So he will get traffic to this website, yeah, this, this homepage from a Google search because of his SEO and stuff. Um, however, he will never direct his paid traffic. So his paid traffic with his Google AdWords and stuff, he'll never direct that here. Mm-hmm. What he'll do is he'll direct that traffic to the individual pages. But when I go to the individual pages, all the information that I would have that we talked about it with Christine in April about the plan and the testimonials and all those elements have to be on these individual pages as well because we're going to be directing traffic directly to those. So uh, the um, question says under the video, the question says, which is the right photo shoot for you? Because yes, this yes. page is all about picking the right photo shoot for you because this is general traffic. Yes. And you're, but you're not spend, you're not spending any money directing traffic here. No, right? no, 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 no. This is just if you don't know me from Adam, you've come up in Google search. This is what you get. Okay. So if you clicked on the family button, now you come yeah. to this. Yeah. So again, yeah. what we need to do, guy, is get that text like we talked about that we saw on April. Yes, yes, yes. Christine in here. Yeah. And then we want to direct call to actions then to follow us down. So again, here, it, you're making it really easy to schedule the shoot. So I love that, that it's, it's really easy for me to click and do that. And um, I love the way you have the plan in here. So a guy has the plan. One, your photo shoot, have fun. Two, view, select, and order. And three, happiness guaranteed. And this happiness guaranteed, you know, that's nearly the transformational piece, isn't it? Um, so, and I love the way you've made the text bigger so I can... I'm a scanner, right? So I'm going to go one, two, three, I'm happy. Yeah, I can make up my mind. And my wife, who's an accountant, she will read every word here, not once, not twice, but three times before she takes action. So what you want for the scanners is to have a summary, so your headline across, and then you want to detail for the people who want to detail because you will have both sets of people coming to you. And um, so a guy here, he's building, he's building um, no like, and trust. You know, he's saying wh- who he is, where he's located, why he's a photographer. Um, guy, again, you need a newer headshot. I definitely need a new headshot. Um, I've not shaved for a couple of days, but uh, yes, that is on the I'll card. I'll come over and do it for you. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we've got our testimonials. So again, really what can help testimonials if there's a video testimonial, you know, where people are telling their story. I'm filming that as we speak. A lot of people think with testimonials that, you know, that if they do it on video, it has to be a high production. It doesn't. When your client is in that emotional, um, you know, when, they, when they're in, they're viewing the images, they've made their selection. Just ask them, can we do a short iPhone video or whatever? And just ask them a question. Uh, hopefully that deals with most of the objections you get. So pick one objection out of the three main objections you get, ask them a question around that, but make sure then when they're answering it, you get them to repeat the question. Yeah. Cause you're only going to want them in it. So if it is um, time, right? So let's say an objection you hear that people pro- are procrastinate and put it off. Yeah. So you can get them to say, um, so you ask them the question. So are you happy you didn't put this off? any longer and you came in for your family portrait session and then you ask them when they when they answer it before you press the the record button you say that please repeat and um, i'm delighted that i didn't put off this and um, family shoot any longer i'm absolutely amazed with the images i'm really looking forward to enjoying them forever on my wall in the wall art that's on my wall yeah but make sure they repeat the question because you're gonna you're gonna cut you out. You're only gonna record them talking. Yeah. So that's a really simple way, guys, to get you know to get those video testimonials, and you can use them then in your social media marketing as well. So that they're, they're multiple use to you. Yeah. So 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 do try and do it and, and get the client. The clients will agree to do it. I love the way you've put the schedule in here as well. So as you're making it really really easy, 
Um, you haven't put in the messenger bot, um, Guy. Is that on purpose? It's there. No, no, it should be there. That's the thing. Um, hit refresh on your page. See if it pops okay. up. Let's do that. The messenger bot is on. Okay. I don't know why it's not working on that page. It could, it could be just a it could be just a Facebook thing right now, or a messenger, or it could be something. Uh, but it, it, messenger is connected to it, and it does pop up, or it should pop okay. up anyway. Okay, so here now, guys, is the next piece I'm going to show you. I absolutely love because Christine April and Guy are in BSA, um, and they're using marketing funnels to generate leads on social media marketing. And what's really, really clever is when you can incorporate those into your website. So if you have offers that you're running for your marketing, for any traffic that comes in here, you can bring them into your funnels and nurture them exactly the same way. So I really love the way Guy has done that. And I know the offer might be slightly different, but when I click on the offer button, is this the same offer that you're using for your Facebook advertising? It's exactly the same funnel. Um, I have behind the scenes, I have um, um, uh, a way of tracking whether they come from Facebook into this funnel or whether they come through that button you pressed or whether they come through any other way. I know where they, how they got here, the source they got here. And it's a, uh, this is a, the identical page they get on the Facebook funnels. So, Guy, we haven't taught this in BSA yet, and that's why I think, fair play to you, that it, it's absolutely the right thing to do, and um, is to integrate your funnel and your offers into your, into your website page. Now, what's really important here is the way Guy has broken it out that he has his family shoots, and then he's bringing them to the offer on their funnel. So, Guy is driving traffic here, not only traffic from his website, but he's also marketing on Facebook then to drive traffic in here. And this is register to win. And the beauty with this is this is not a competition. A lot of people think that it is a competition, but it's not. What it is, in fact, is you're registering people to win what Guy has on offer here. And everyone who meets Guy's criteria of being his ideal client gold is a winner. So that's a really important thing because a lot of people get confused. They think this is a competition and I have one winner or maybe some runner-ups. No. Everyone who meets your, your criteria is a winner. They're going to come into the studio. Yeah. Who meets your criteria being the important words. So Guy has structured this like we teach all funnels to be. So it's really easy for the client to take action. He's showing really upfront what's included if you win. So it's really, really clear. And um, he has his steps again as to what steps are going to be taken. And again, it's follow me down. Yes, I'd love to enter. Click here. So the same idea that's in, in the funnel that we talked about on the website, where you have those call to actions following you down the website, you repeat those here in your funnels as well. He has his testimonials. He has his images. He reminds them as to what's going to be included if they're a winner, the value of that. And um, he's reinforcing here then with his certified and his MPA badges, you know, that he has the authority that he is a qualified award-winning photographer, but it's not in my face. Yeah. It doesn't start up here saying, um, award-winning photographer book now. Yeah. Cause then the client's not to hear the client doesn't care about you. I know it's an awful thing to hear, but they don't care about you. They only care about what's in it for them. So I love, Guy, the way you've managed to link all that together and um, that you've managed to link your marketing funnels that you're driving your Facebook traffic to that are booking with you and, and, and through those funnels that you've linked it through to your website. So that was the, the standout piece for me with what you've done with your website as well. So great job. So April, Christine, anything to add to, to, to Guy's website there? I just want to, I'm sorry, April, do you want to go ahead? <laughs> For both of you, I love the scheduling, the ability to schedule even just a chat on, on the website. Again, one more step to making it really easy to do business with you. Um, I think that's a great idea. And of course, brilliant, just what Ronan said, to include that funnel in your actual webpage. 
I've included the let's chat uh, acuity thing, like April says, um, on emails I've sent to people that have not managed to contact in the first place, mm -hmm. saying you're obviously very busy and, you know, so, you know, but I love the way that April uh, has used that on her home page. And I think I'll change my website to match April saying, look, we all have very busy lives. Okay. My phone number's here. You're welcome to call me, but the likelihood is I'll be shooting and you'll get the answer phone. Mm -hmm. And I'll just have to call you back anyway. So while I'm happy to, if you catch me, you catch me. But if you don't, schedule a chat below. And I like being in the mood to talk to people on the phone. Like if you catch me in the car or in the middle of something, I may not be in the right frame of mind. So I love a scheduled phone call. I would much rather do that then like wait for someone to call or think they're going to call or call at nine o'clock at night. So I love that feature. But that's all part of being a business person is getting caught off guard. And so, <laughs> but if we I can mean, minimize that, if we can, we can. You know, kind of funnel people to where we want them to go, I think that if, if we can man make it happen, I think that's a nice feature. <clears throat> um, I think if we can manage our time, so we're not busy fools, we're less hectic. Mm -hmm. I'll give an example. While we've been online, my phone went ding and someone in Messenger has put down, hi, guy, my family and I have used you several times for photos. Could I ask again the cost? I only need three headshots of my son Harvey for his acting portfolio. So that's come through Messenger, uh, through the business mes messenger on the website. So, of course, uh, the reply says, hi, Penny, uh, we're not at the studio at the moment. We'll get you back to you as soon as we can. So if I feel like it. I will actually call the woman up as in at seven o'clock at night. She'll be like, oh my God, I'm getting service now. Mm -hmm. Or I'll leave it until the morning. You know, people don't, uh, some people expect you to be, to be there for them on a live chat at nine o'clock at night. Right, they do. In fact, my best time to connect with people is 8 p.m. on Sunday night whether you, I mean, because they're, they've got their kids in bed, um, they are online surfing, they came across your model call and they want to do it now. Um, and so I, I will basically wait until Sunday night to market anything. But again, I'm 51. My kids are mostly out of the house. My grandchildren live with them and my dad could care less. So... <laughs> So, so guys, uh, we have a couple of questions that hopefully we can deal with. So Ron Barbosa, a fellow Inner Hive member in BSA, um, he wants to know, do you, what do you build? What platform do you use to build your website? And do you outsource that or do you do it yourself? So do you want to go first, April? I do it myself. I've been a website designer since 1998. So do you write HTML or do you use a platform or what? what I do write HTML, but um, the platform I use is WordPress. And then, of course, we use ClickFunnels. And that's really, really simple. I, I think they're both very simple. Um, ClickFunnels is maybe a little easier. I agree about ClickFunnels. I'm also on WordPress. And um, I find that I it's been easier for me to incorporate all these things into my ClickFunnels pages than I'm just sending out my those landing pages to people now instead of my website because it's where I want it to be. Um, but yeah, I do my own as well. And it's like, if you do it all the time, then you remember how to do it. Um, so just trying to keep up with it. Uh, so I remember. It's easier for me to do it when I want to do it than wait for my web guy to get to it so guy you use wordpress right i use wordpress but i use a plugin theme uh, for wordpress called divi which is drag and drop which means i what i see is what i get in wordpress it's very powerful and um i've got a lifetime commitment to it um and it integrates a lot of things that make it really simple for me um so if i want a button i just put a click right click put a button in there um and so divi and wordpress is for me um i did try um click funnels i started using it and for the newbie uh, it's awesome it does everything you might want to do down to 
storing your clients, emailing them, the whole shebang. So if you're not, if your website is not all singing or dancing, ClickFunnels will take over that function and do that for you. From a marketing point of view, uh, you don't really need a website if ClickFunnels is working properly. You know, you just need a website as your business card and then let ClickFunnels do the rest for you. Um, for me, uh, from a cost point of view, if I was in the big business side of things, uh, ClickFunnels would have been um, uh, good for me. But because I have the knowledge and I'm trying to fine tune my operation to be as profitable as possible, then um, I decided to do the, um, the funnel pages on my own website. Um, so all the functionality that ClickFunnels has, I have behind the scenes. Saying that, it's taken me a lot of hours, sleepless nights, um, headaches, how to get things going, but I figured out how to make it go. So if anyone wants any advice on that, I can point them in the right directions. But here's the caveat. You've got to have an engineering type mind to assemble the blocks and then connect them all together. ClickFunnels does it all for you. So if you've got a very analytic engineering kind of mind, that's for you. Otherwise I'd say pay your money, go with ClickFunnels, it, it'll work. Thanks. Or you can join BSA and <laughs> Inner Hive, and well, you can get the templates and just plug and play. Yeah, well, you're, you're, I want to just answer a few more questions before we go there, April, but thank you for that. Um, I mean, all, the stuff that you saw on my website, a lot of it was learned from BSA. 100% um, credit to Brad and Janine and Jonathan um, that helped me. Um, I didn't create photography. You know, we're not we're saying we're creatives we are but we didn't invent the pose we're just copying poses other people have done before nothing's nothing is ever 100 percent new you know we might add our own spin on it but a family pose is a family pose so uh, it's how you deliver it and i think uh, the guys at bsa without them i would have been dead in the water now because i would have had no marketing uh, at all we had we've gone from hardly anything online to 100 percent online in a matter of about six weeks Good job. Great stuff. Great stuff, guys. So, uh, Monica, I want to answer your question for you. So you asked about a typical menu. Yes. Yeah. So if, if we look at websites and how they've evolved, you know, the original websites, it was, you know, click here to get to the next piece of information. Well, that was before we had smartphones, right? But what we now have smartphones and people are coming to the smartphone. They don't want to have to click. And also, you don't want, if you confuse, you lose. So we don't want to have up there at the top a whole lot of information that's going to take away from your direct call to action and your indirect call to action. So you don't want any confusion and you don't want people to have to leave that page that they're on to get all the information that they need because they're going to be scrolling. Yeah. So all the information, the key information should be on the scroll so that you can free up that prime real estate for your direct call to action and your indirect call to action. So I hope that's cleared that up for you. Um, uh, what do we see? So April, you've answered a lot of that. A uh, lot of questions. Kelly has asked, are we using the direct link? Yes. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, it's just a button, Kelly. So when you've got your marketing funnels built, where you're just directing them for, from the offer on your website page into your funnel. So again, your Google traffic is coming in to your website page and then you're bringing them from your website page into your, your funnels. So it's just traffic is people, yeah? That's all it is. It's people who've an interest in what you're going to do for them. So all we're doing is directing them where you want them to go. So what just I would, on, Oh, can I? Sure. I do, I'm not sure what Guy's experience is, but have you noticed that when you take just general website traffic and direct them to your offer page, uh, you get autom almost automatic bookings because people want to be part of that contest or the, and they'll just automatically give you their information. And it's, it's it really a browser, a casual browser mm -hmm. into uh, from a casual browser to a prospect. Um, uh, so you, you've got them, you know, because if they're not, it's, 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 it's free. They've got nothing to lose. You know, um, who can argue with it? it's free expensive, you know, so they put their details in. They may not become a client, but they're more likely to become a client than if that offer wasn't there. Right. Yeah. So um, we, ha we have a question from uh, Ron. 
um, is ask, ask, ask me, how would you answer her guy? Um, Ron, I'm not quite sure what question you're trying to ask, sorry. Um, I think the headshot messenger lady who just messaged you in, in during the call. Oh, oh, how would I answer her? I would, uh, after the, the call now, um, I would put something really quick to acknowledge that um, I am going to be looking after saying, got your message, thanks, would love to, to photograph little Johnny again, I, you know, um, put something nice, some nice words there. Um, I'll be back in the office 9.30 tomorrow morning. Are you around for a quick chat? I'll give you a call and we'll take it from there. I said, no, I'd rather chat now. I'll actually pick up the phone now and talk to her. But then again, my wife's making dinner. So I've got to, you know, keep the client happy or upset she who must be obeyed. You know, that's the, the juggling between home life and business life. And if she's doing something, I'll make the call. If not, I'll put the phone down and I'll have a family dinner. Not only that, but we have inner hive in 30 minutes. Correct. So <laughs> I've got 30 minutes to wolf down my dinner yet. So, so the inner hive guys, for those who don't know, so in BSA, we have um, the inner hive, which is a group of photographers working to absolutely learn and adopt all the online marketing strategies to fill their studio online. And we've just heard from Guy where, you know, it has literally saved his business because traditional marketing is closed to him. Um, Christine, just before we go, what, what, what has BSA meant to you? It has gone so deeply into marketing more so than I'm, I'm like, I'm a course junkie. I, I want to learn um, everything. And so it's gone more deeply into marketing than any other education that I've found. Um, and, and really the step-by-step -step and the accountability and the support and, and really the how-to it's not, it's, it's really the trees. It's not high level. I mean, it is high level, but it really gets down into all the how-tos um, which has been so valuable to me. So we've, we've just shared a link in the chat too, guys. If you want to get a feeling for what it's about, you know, just click on the link and join us for a 14 day free trial. If it's not right for you, then you can leave us at any stage, but if you want to join this team um, of photographers, you know, who are working together, sharing ideas, you've seen a flavor of that tonight. April, what has BSA meant for you? Because like you, you, you've told us tonight, you've, you know, you, you've been deep diving into marketing, you know, writing, being able to code your own websites, you know, years and years ago. What, what has BSA meant for somebody who is so into their marketing and such an expert already in so many areas? If you are tired of writing constant con uh, content for your blog, if you're try trying to spin six articles into 24 blog posts into 57 Facebook page ads and um, all of, you know, if you're tired of doing Instagram and LinkedIn and all of that stuff that takes up forever because you wanna have family dinner with your kids and your wife, whether it's burnt or not. Um, you want to do BSA because you will create a page and you'll drive some traffic to it. And those people will either sign up or they won't, but you'll be able to contact them forever and you can save hours and hours so that you can do something you love. Um, maybe more shooting or maybe less shooting at more money, your choice. But that's what BSA means to me. It's, it's a time saver. It's, and you get to meet great people like Ronan and Guy and Christine, because th this is the first time I met Christine today. Excellent. Listen, guys, thank you so much for sharing your websites with us, for sharing your stories, your expertise and inspiration to everybody. And we've learned so much tonight. Um, and we even learned from each other, haven't we? We've learned, we, we you know, and, yeah. we, we've been, and no one has all the right answers. You could see that everyone had a different angle on different things we need to do. And that's part of it. It's about community. It's about helping each other and, um, you know, to, to create a healthier society and mind, body and spirit through the photography you do. So thank you so much for joining us in the Think Tank. Thank you to Guy, to Christine, to April. And um, I'll see you guys in the Inner Hive in about half an hour's time. And uh, everyone else, we're back next Tuesday on the Think Tank. So do join us. And thank you for joining us. Stay safe, stay healthy. 
and bye everybody. Thanks, Ronan. <laughs>